okay this is Paul's beer beer review the beer minute we're in uh, Cannon Hill Park we've just been to um, drop off a crate of our beer at um, Sturchley Wines and uh, on our, we bought these very fine local ales Twisted Barrel Ale Saison from another place and Suckler Brew Hallucigenia Sour Ground now they're a bit shook up because we uh, just brought them here and this one so yeah what do you think of this one Paul? ok so the first beer we've got is from the Twisted Barrel um, Brewery they're actually based in Coventry which is a great place they're great people they make some fantastic beers this one is the Saison from another place so Saison it says on the back a Belgian farmhouse ale that uses an array of spi spices to augment the natural spicy fruit esters provided by the unique Saison yeast strain expect a com complex marriage of citrus flavours a floral aroma and a lip smackingly spicy finish so okay. this has got to be a fantastic beer Okay. so the ABV is 6.3% uh, so that is pretty strong beer style saison so obviously it's going to have the pilsner the wheat and uh, the munich the hops in here is a halato blank cascade and the sars as well uh, the yeast here that has been used is belgian saison that's okay. what we use yeah. so we use well, beau saison yeah that's the one that's one of the yeasts that we actually use in a lot of our beers too yeah it's but nice. here we go I'm going to try this beer now and see what it's like. Okay. Okay, so it's got a slightly slightly floral aroma to it. Okay, here, here goes. You got a bit of foam on your nose, Paul. Mm. What do you reckon? Mm. oh wow that is really beautiful refreshing beautiful taste very light as well um, it's it's definitely taste. got that Belgian style to it very drinkable really drinkable in fact and you can taste the, the strength in it too it's a beautiful um, I'd rate this as one of the best uh, beautiful summer beers really that's a twisted, uh, twisted barrel ale, the saison from another place. Let's just try it again. I like it. I like it very much. Yeah, that's lovely. Beautiful. It's, it's, it's really light, very refreshing. It's got some good floral notes in there too. Uh, it's, a, it's a good beer. It's a happy beer. It's a great beer. It's a great beer. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's now the, the second one? one we've got. Sacre Bleu. It's brew. a Sakura brew. Again, this is a local beer, quite local, from Wolverhampton. They produce some very interesting uh, blends of uh, flavours in a lot of their beers. Yeah. Beautiful design on They're the kind of artisans. Really artisan. Uh, this is Hall Hallucinogenia Sour Gruit. Beautiful Gruit. beer. Great design on there. What it says on the bottle. Hallucinogenia is a golden gruit brewed with traditional ale herbs. There are no hops in this beer apart from its golden colour. So that's quite rare for a beer to not have any hops in. Uh, you know, they're going a bit medieval yeah, so on that. This is very traditional, going back to the days when uh, maybe people used to make beer just from heather. So it's quite a similar thing. Okay, so what it says here, apart from its golden colour, this is what beer used to be like centuries ago before the widespread use of hops this particular blend of herbs creates a sharp sour flavor without the use of wild yeast or bacteria so that's really interesting this beer is alive unfiltered and bottle conditioned sediment is normal store upright as you would do okay what it does contain here it says it contains water barley malt wheat malt wormwood now that is very interesting wormwood artemisia 
absinthium. Okay, so that's very <laughs> unusual for for wormwood to be in a beer. I I, I, I wasn't for sure that yeah. was illegal to be honest to have wormwood yeah. in your beer, but it, yeah, possibly. Most people know that wormwood is actually uh, had hallucinogen. It was a main ingredient in absinthe itself. Yeah, uh, which back is, in the day. Yeah. Okay, so this is from uh, Sacra Brew. It's a brewery based in Wolverhampton. It's got some incredibly interesting ingredients. It doesn't use any hops at all. It contains barley malt, wheat malt, juniper berries, and wormwood. Now, wormwood, as you know, is actually um, a hallucinogen, hence the name, hallucinogenia, saragurit. It's very Belgian style beer. Um, wormwood uh, is an interesting ingredient. Does it say Belgium on there? It can't, well, it says like. Um, I mean, you'd, I'd think that would be more like um, traditional kind of English beer. Yeah. If Groot beer is like yeah. old English yeah. beer, basically. It does have that really like uh, Belgian taste to it though. Has it? I haven't, I haven't tasted it yet. Go have a little bit. What do you so, um. That is Whoa. Beer, um, fucking, it's tasty. There's a lot of fucking different flavours going on in that. It's, um, whoa. Whoa. I mean, that is just so yeah. different. Because, you you know, it's like, that is, that is not a hop taste. No. It's, it's like, you can tell there's like no. a lot of different herbs there's, and spices and shit going on in that. What you're tasting in this beer is spice. You're tasting spice sour and sharpness it's really sour and it's very sour but it's 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 spicy because of the herbs in it it's a lovely really beer. interesting it's a lovely beer 4.8 percent you can't go wrong with this uh this is an awesome beer it's a very summer drink as well mm. oh man i'd rate this um out of 10 where 10's being the highest this is well up there this is like um this is a definitely, a, a definitely um, an 8.5 um, on my scale of beers. This is a fantastic beer, it's really cool. Great beer, great design, very original too. Beautiful yeah, taste. I mean all their labels are like different artists from the local area, which is really good to, to tell support you what, them. You know, like it says on the label, uh, if this beer was made centuries ago, they were making some good beer back then. If they were mm. making beers from ingredients where, where hops weren't used, well, you can still get away with making great beer. Yeah. And this just shows you, um, it's great that this is a Midlands brewery as well. Fantastic um, taste. It's very, very it. beautiful, very rich. It's, it's When I say rich, I mean it's rich in the, in the flavours of the, uh, the sweetness flavours too. Uh, it's a beautiful beer. Definitely uh, on my scale at 8.5 out of 10. Fantastic beer. So that's a winner for yeah, Paul. That's, a, that's a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. And what about Twisted Barrel? What Twisted would you say? Barrel, uh, the Saison from another place. Beautiful, light, refreshing, tasty. This um, is fantastic, really. And I will definitely give this an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. You'd give that an 8? Yeah. yeah. 8 out of 10. Beautiful beer there. Let's have another taste of it. Oh yeah. So smooth, but light. Beautiful. So then I'll be better. Yeah. I mean, personally, if I had to choose one, I'd go for that one. Because it's got some fucking crazy flavours going on in that. Crazy. But this one is really, really nice as well. Yeah. Beautiful blend of hops in this one. We got uh, Halito Blanc, Cascade, and Sards as well. Yeah. Beautiful. But yeah, definitely both worth buying. Mm. Awesome beers. Cool. So this is uh, Paul's first beer review, and uh, maybe we'll do more of these. I hope so. I think, like, you know, it's all good. Cool. Any last words? Keep on drinking, enjoy your beers. <laughs> all right.